okay so today we are observing our second lecture for your uh, this credit number 2 and unit number 1 uh, wildlife habitats of the wildlife diversity uh, in aquatic uh, water condition aquatic uh, uh, yesterday we have seen about fresh water so today we are observing about the marine water conditions are there so already we are knowing the total earth surface it is having a aquatic uh, ecosystem 71 percent uh, earth surface covered by the water ocean water about 97 percent of water on the earth it is generally having the ocean water in marine ecosystem as it is to be supposed as there for the large uh, diversity species are there so just you observe the some uh, good photographs along with this one so how are the habitats uh, in the different water conditions are there we are know in hydrophytes there are different uh, plants are there the floating forms then submerged forms submerged uh, rooted but they are uh, rooted type some are the floating on this one secondly the ocean is as it is to be supposed as the life blood of the earth surface as 70% of oxygen human consumes which comes from the marine plants in the ocean right so this is very nice uh, cycle is there you see how is the rainfall is there so ocean water you operate it cool down forms the cloud again for a fresh water supply is there so it is the god's gift i uh, suppose and uh, god he has given the blessing to us so oceans are responsible for removing the co2 from the atmosphere and produce the oxygen supporting earth life right so whatever our living organisms we are totally depend on this ocean system marine system and therefore the it having the different diverse ecosystems are there so how they are we will see the one by one according to you know a only the about 5% of the ocean is explored up till now i think you are knowing Uh, there is an atlantic ocean pacific ocean these are very deep oceans are there i think about having the 4000 meter or more than this 4000 1000 meter means the 1 kilometer so like this there is a depth of the ocean is there uh, about two third part of the ocean species are yet to be discovered and 95% of the ocean it is totally unexplored the basic need of an ecosystem is the o2 co2 sunlight and the nutrients food and uh, minerals are there so in this one you are observing the photograph of these fishes and this one the significant physical chemical parameters on the ecosystem physical chemical that is the they are necessary for the diversity they are required for the spawning breeding and the reproductive activities are there right reproductive you see the screen you may take the screenshot i will send the pdf secondly uh, there are the certain poor some species are there they may fail down uh, for the reproduction so there is having a balanced physical environmental condition is seen in the uh, ocean uh, in the marine ecosystem uh, mainly uh, three four uh, types are there coral reef ecosystem deep sea kelp forest like our trees there are the large oceanic trees are there we will see the example polar seas are there and the open ocean is there so this is the one part then what is coral reef i think coral word you have listened firstly uh, uh, anywhere but here as actually it is a uh, polyp is a tubular sac like animal with a central mouth surrounded by the tentacles are there the base is uh, attached to the substrate so as we are uh, knowing certain like the your hydra plant uh, you are knowing but here these corals they are attached to the base tentacles are there pharynx are there mouth is there then you see the, this uh, photograph and therefore 
they are to be having the different uh, genera's are there coral reef are diverse underwater ecosystem they held together by calcium carbonate structures uh, they covered uh, by the calcium carbonate sunkadi munto apan tyala right then corals are believed to have the highest biodiversity than any other ecosystem the rich biodiversity in ocean uh, if the coral it is having about the 33% of the marine different uh, coral reefs they show the symbiotic relationship with the unicellular algae and the uh, uh, zoo uh, zoo janthelli uh, are there algae zoo janthelli zoo janthelli that is the related with the animal oriented there are some examples are there uh, moria eel is there common octopus is there then brittle star is there sea pen is there right these are good now then barracuda is there uh, so remember this how the uh, corals are developed uh, there are the different uh, conditions effect of temperature on coral reef so basically uh, without janthelli uh, this uh, coral stern white because the algae provide the food and require the color by the photosynthesis then uh, white unhealthy corals are called as bleached corals right then there are the bleached corals uh, are weak have the reduced growth uh, rates which are decreased reproductive activity and the susceptible to the diseases are there the coral beaching affect the complete marine ecosystem and the biodiversity the decline in the genetic and the species uh, diversity occur the deep sea ecosystem represent the habitat on the earth about 200 meter to the bottom of the ocean right the deep sea zone uh, is now showing the light zone or the apotic zone apotic means where light is not reaching then extreme pressure and the cold water is required so certain uh, examples are there mostly the deep sea uh, ocean is there as uh, you are knowing uh, they shows 4 to minus 1 degree celsius uh, sea is there the generally in antarctic ocean about minus 1.9 degree celsius temperature is there the most predictable physical hydrostatic pressure about 10 meter increase in the depth of pressure increases by one at atmosphere so it is unit of the uh, this so uh, deep sea is always having the specific character then nestle as you are knowing uh, in the deep sea this coral reefs uh, they shows the mounds formation or the depressions they are uh, due to the benthic animals are there worms mollusk then crustacean starfish right so these are very uh, specific uh, uh, the organisms commonly found as the biotic feature so we are knowing the anger fish jelly fish octopus giant comes are there uh, therefore uh, there we should uh, require uh, to know this type of the character you see these are the different uh, organisms present in the deep sea and they shows the clearly due to the uh, bioluminescence and the fluorescence type of the property fluoro bioluminescence means they brittle apun te rat kide vagere manto na ये चमकतात काजवे म्हणा किंवा ते त्या टाईप इन द फिश हॅव्हिंग इन द वॉटर देन सेकंडली द गुड एक्झाम्पल्स आर देअर यू सी जेली फिश इज देअर ऑर द गॉर्गोलियन फिडिंग ऑन द बास्केट स्टार देन डीप सी बॉटम विथ द फिश राईट देन देर इज हॅव्हिंग द वन गुड एक्झाम्पल इज देअर दिस इज द रेडिओ लॅरिया देन आयसोपॉड are the good example polychaetic worms are there right nematodes are there you see the squid many light organs are there so how the coral reefs are developing i think it is very interesting part is there you go through it properly 
then kelp forest so this is our botanical part because kelp is nothing but it is a larger algae uh, and it uh, develops like a forest like development under the water so kelp forest are large brown algae that lie in, uh, in the cool shallow water and they grows about the 20 inches per day 20 inch per day i think in the one feet 30 uh, 12 inches are there so near about one and half feet growth is generally uh, seen every day and therefore they form very larger the film like large uh, film like uh, structure is there these uh, they grows under water and provide the food and shelter i think uh, the uh, maximum food material of the japan 40 percent it is based on this uh, brown algae they have developed the different soups are there others are there and it is very uh, interesting after processing they have the different uh, foods are there uh, fast food right so you see the photograph of the kelp uh, in the open sea uh, generally area these are the areas that uh, are not near to the shore open ocean so it is quite less the open ocean and it shows the very large fishes like the fells are there shark are there uh, then polar sea is there so it is uh, generally uh, polar means north pole and the south pole so it is covered with the ice cover. Where the ice cover is, so there ice bugs, matter, and there is water level. In such condition, generally some uh, diversity is there. So they are dominated by ice, snow, and the cold temperature. The animals uh, such as polar bears, uh, bilega, uh, beluga, then whales, krills, then seals and the penguins birds these are the commonly occurring at this condition then our coastal ecosystem it is very interesting as it's showing about the one third part of the world it is coastal in this one you are uh, heard the names now up till now mangrove plants are there right then sandy seashore rocky seashore barrier islands and the eastern part Ishuri means what? Where the river joins to the ocean. This portion it is called as the Ishuri. Maja Bartisha Vela Samudrasa Pani Atmadeta and Pura Alanantar Nadila, Flood Alanantar, it was the fresh water. So always there is a mixing of ocean water and the fresh water, river water. So this region it is called as the Ishuri. Then mangroves have the typical character. These are shrubs, trees, which grows in the saline water habitats in the certain regions. Our Indian part, south uh, and the uh, eastern side, uh, up to the uh, western side, up to the Goa. So there are the mangroves are reported in the different parts. Uh, the distribution it is based on the climate salinity fluctuation of tides and the type of the soil right different common plants of the mangroves are there uh, certainly mangroves uh, commonly uh, includes at, at least 20 fish species and 20 reptiles then amphibian species 15 and the mammals uh, uh, having about the mammals and 150 types of birds they are living in there for the they provide uh, the food or they get the food from the mangroves then used for uh, nesting and uh, certainly uh, acting as a nursery areas then the common uh, are the red mangroves black mangroves uh, buttonwood uh, mangroves string lily these are the common uh, types white mangroves are there mangroves have the one character nematophores are there so plant either it is a tree but these are commonly called as a breathing roots uh, roots right so they show the respiration process uh, through from this one relieving of the oxygen and the taking of the co2 then other part is there rocky shores are there so this is a uh, one good photograph of the rocky area here uh, in our maharashtra ratnagiri portion it is showing the rocky shore then uh, there is a so in this uh, particularly 
the specific habitats are there algae are there then different limbs are there rocks are there the temperature generally it is uh, uh, tolerated and therefore life on the rock is sure marine algae birds then crabs lobsters stars fishes seals and sea lions are there commonly sea lions means the large uh, fishes are there uh, in certainly other part of the ocean is there barrier islands islands means what there, there is only soil region and it is totally surrounded by uh, water so like our andaman islands are there so in the barrier islands these are the coastal landforms are there at the coast and they are the exceptionally flat or the they shows the uh, so they are covered by the sand uh, in the high tide uh, and low tide uh, they are uh, covered sometime for the water and later on uh, they are under the uh, uh, they are exposed so there are the different types of the uh, chains are there in our andaman islands uh, i think about 350 islands are there this is our part of india so near about the uh, 50 or 60 islands are only usable uh, and others are generally very smaller or uh, uh, there is no any location uh, population right so these are the some uh, main ca all characteristics for the uh, this our marine uh, habitats are there so you remember these types okay so next our third lecture we will see on the brackish water that is issue and water conditions are there okay so thanks to all wish you all the best